New tonight, a possible break in the search for a missing woman from Jasper. 57-year-old Kay McCoy was last seen in October 2012. Well, on Monday, McCoy's daughter and son-in-law were indicted on charges of credit card abuse and forgery. Investigators say the pair wrote checks that belonged to Kay McCoy. 12 News reporter Tyler Segeman is live at the Jasper County Sheriff's Office. And Tyler, you talked to a friend of the missing woman, right? Yes, now when someone goes missing for a long time, any clue or new update can be crucial. And that was, that was the case on a Monday in the form of two indictments for Robert and Christina Hicks. Earlier this afternoon, I spoke with Kay McCoy's best friend who is still feeling the, ang feeling the anguish of McCoy's disappearance. I can't believe Kay's gone. It's still, it's not real. Stacy Chestnut is perhaps the only friend 57 year old Kay McCoy had before she disappeared. She was not a social person. She says McCoy kept to herself and would never run off. McCoy disappeared from Jasper in 2012 and Jasper County investigators made it their mission to find her. Chestnut tells me she never talked about her family much, but knew she didn't have a great relationship with her oldest daughter. Through the years, Kay would very rarely ever mention her oldest daughter because they fought all the time. Her her daughter would run away all the time. She'd go live with her boyfriend, this and that. And it, it, it was rough, their whole relationship. It turns out 40-year-old Christina Hicks may have a role in her mother's vanishing. On Monday, a Jasper County grand jury indicted Robert and Christina Hicks for abusing McCoy's credit cards and checks. Something's <laughs> finally moving forward, and I'm, I'm glad for that. I know it takes some time. Chestnut says the news is a huge break in finding her friend. Glad that they finally indicted them, the oldest daughter and the son-in-law. And I hope we can now go find her body and bring her home and put her to rest. The question remains, though, what happened to Kay McCoy? Chestnut hopes more answers will surface following the indictments. She encourages anyone to come forward with any information. Everybody's got cell phones. Everybody's got Facebook cameras. Somebody has seen something and just maybe not realize they've seen something. McCoy is described as being around four feet tall, weighing around 100 pounds with blonde hair or, yeah, blonde hair and blue eyes. Now, again, she was last seen in 2012. If anyone has any information in this case, you are encouraged to contact the Jasper County Sheriff's Office. Live in Jasper, Tyler Segerman, 12 News.